What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about the importance of clearing your driveway so that the propane truck can get down the driveway into your propane tank. So what we have here is we have an uncleared driveway. Yesterday I'd say we got about six inches of snow, we got quite a bit of ice, and it's a balmy five degrees out here in southern Ohio. So we need this path clear to the propane tank. Now I'm familiar with this house, so I can tell you where the propane tank is. It's an underground tank, which when it snows makes it really, really hard to find sometimes. So we always encourage the customers to put a flag or some sort of marker. Right there is the propane tank. And you can see the truck has to drive down this path and turn around and get out in order to fill this propane tank. And it doesn't look like there's not much snow on the ground, but when you get down below, you'll find there's about two, three inches of snow. This is really tough for a propane truck. A propane truck is 11 feet wide in the rear and it is a rear wheel drive truck. It is not a four wheel drive truck or anything like that. So we can't put it in four wheel drive to get out. It's very important to have these areas clear and have your tank marked. Next, I'll show you what a cleared, good looking driveway, an ideal driveway looks like. So we're back here at the house and the customer's done some plowing. Now, there is about two inches of ice underneath this snow. And this isn't perfect, but this at the very least is what we're looking for. It's a nice path that comes down the driveway. It gives us a little bit of traction getting in and out. The driveway does slope at the end. And we've got some footprints and we got some swirls. Lets us know where the tank's at. We're not asking for perfection, but this is just fine. If you can clear it all the way down to blacktop or concrete or gravel or whatever you have out there, that would be great. But this works out. This allows us to get our truck in and get the tank filled and get out safely. We don't want to get stuck in your yard. Matter of fact, coming up, I'll show you a few pictures and a video of what happens when we do get stuck. But in the meantime, this is perfect. They've trampled down some of the snow and ice. If the truck needs to turn around, they can, but the truck can back in, back right up here. We've got a hundred foot hose on the tank. We just need to get within a hundred foot of the tank and we can fill that tank up and we can make this customer happy. The point of our video is we want to make sure that the driveway's clear when we go get our trucks down there, or really any delivery truck for that matter. Uh, our trucks are around 11 foot wide and they're not four wheel drive. So they're rear wheel drive. If they get stuck and the rear wheels are spinning, that's it, they're, they're stuck. Uh, keep in mind too, they're really heavy. They sink, so we do get a little bit of traction, but that can also work against us if we're getting off the driveway into the yard. It just compounds the issue when you're already stuck. But our hoses are 100 feet long, so we don't always have to get down to where we usually do. As long as we're within 100 foot of the tank, we can get the customer taken care of, get them full, and make sure they don't freeze. Uh, the last part of this video, what I do want to show you is an example of getting stuck. And this happened yesterday uh, the, from the day of filming. This was I was riding shotgun in this truck, and we started to make our way down a driveway. And it didn't seem that steep when we were going down. But then once we were down there, we looked and, and we thought, wow, this is, this is really going to be tough getting out. And we, we weren't able to get out on our own. We had to get another truck to come get us. That's best case scenario. Worst case scenario is you got to get some sort of wrecker out there. These trucks are not light. They're not light at all. So it's not like you can get a pickup truck and pull them out. You got to have some equally as heavy with the traction, with the force to be able to pull these things out. So let me show you two pictures uh, of the truck being stuck. And then I'll show you the video of how we got it out.
All right, so, so to wrap things up, basically what we're trying to say is uh, try to keep that driveway clear when it snows for your delivery people, be it us or Amazon or the mailman. For, keep it safe for them. Keep it safe for yourself. And uh, make sure that uh, you know people can get in and out of your driveway if you have the means to do so. If you don't, uh, generally there's plenty of people around your location that have plows or the capability to clear your driveway for you. And if you don't have either, at least with our customers, we encourage them to get, give us a call and call us before the storm. Uh, we all know it's coming. Uh, the weather forecaster says it's going to snow. Give us a call. We try to get our customers before or uh, after the storm or whatever works around their schedule. It's all about keeping gas in the tank, keeping heat in the house, keeping people happy, keeping people warm and safe. So uh, thanks again for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next go-round.